All right, hopefully this video will help you out and answer some questions. You, yeah, I assume you're having problems with your furnace too. Maybe it's the same ones I had with mine. I kept getting a blinking error code number 33. Now here's the LED indicator light that I moved to the side of the furnace so I could see it at a glance without opening this front cover. I was, you undo this screw here. The cover comes right off with one screw. I had error code 33, so it would blink three times fast and then three times slow. So if you had 12 or 14, it'd blink once really fast and then four times really slow, and you would know it was 14. And then it gives you all of these things that could be the problem. So proper vent sizing could be the problem. Now, first thing you always want to check is to make sure you don't have a dirty filter and the filter is stored in here and I didn't. So, something was tripping um, one of these switches, like probably this one, saying that it's getting too hot inside, the, the blades aren't cooling down enough. Uh, this thing needs to shut off so it doesn't uh, overheat and burn your house down. That's basically what it was saying the problem was. So how a f uh, furnace works is you have flames coming out of each one of these. And they go through those holes there. And it basically is these little tunnels that wrap around. And they're encased in metal on both sides. So it's like a bunch of fingers or a bunch of blades, I mean and uh, the gas then once it's done being passed through the tunnel is brought up this chimney and out through the top of your uh, roof and so you have a blower under here that's pushing air from your uh, taking air from inside your rooms through the vents passing it through the hot blades and then going up and uh, through the out vents in your in your room so this sensor was saying, hey, there's, uh, it's just getting too hot here. It's not cooling it down fast enough. I'm shutting off, so it would cool down and shut off. And so anyway, so that's what uh, that switch does. This one is another sensor. It's saying, hey, there's too much heat coming out here. Now, some of these, like this flame rollout sensor. Okay, there's the f where the flames come out. Oh, here it's turning on now. You'll see this. And there's a sensor there in case fire starts coming out where it shouldn't for some dumb reason. This will switch and there's a little button there to reset it on that one. So you can see the glow. You're going to get uh, some heat coming out of the, uh, the glow thing so that when the gas starts going it immediately ignites. The gas is going to turn on. There it goes. That's the exhaust blower. Anyway, so proper vent sizing. Let's say that the vents in the house are too small or there's furniture blocking them, either the return vent or the blowing vent. Try opening all of the vents and see if that helps. If it helps, then you know you were just blocking too many vents. Um, also, what I did to try and fix it, I, I cut a hole a bigger hole to allow the air to go into the fan that's behind this panel here. That didn't help. I even took that off and took the filter out tried to run it and it still kept tripping saying it was getting too hot. Um, it says the problem could be a loose blower wheel which would be the one inside here is the blower wheel. If that's not working right it's not going to blow enough air, which means these blades get too hot and that switch trips again. Excessive wind. So let's say it's a really windy day and this exhaust pipe has wind blowing across the top of it. It's possible that the wind could push it back down so that this doesn't really get to let the uh, air or the gases escape. So this is again going to get too hot, trip, and the whole thing's going to turn off. That wasn't my problem either. 
defective capacitor. If you take this panel off, there's a blower, and on it is this big, looks like a small Coke can. It's this uh, metal capacitor. If you don't know what it is, you can look it up. It's uh, those are always going bad. But I, you'd kind of know that your blower was acting funny with that too. Uh, switch, blah blah blah. Inadequate combustion supply, flame rollout switch is open. So up there I have a, there it is, there's the combustion air supply. So what that means is to have all these flames going, fire needs air to burn and it's got to come from somewhere. I'm in a furnace room, so if I totally blocked off this room, I got two water heaters there that are burning oxygen and I got those that are burning oxygen and you need some air so if there's not enough air it can't feed through here and this thing's gonna trip it's gonna get too hot anyway none of those were my problem turns out the problem was the design of the furnace itself so what I did here's here's what the uh, home builders put in they have this is the air it comes down in hits the blower in there and goes all the way up it's just not getting enough air at all. So what I did is I hooked up another air return on the other side. And uh, there you go, you can see the blower now right there. So this blower That blower is getting air from both sides of the furnace. On the left and the right. And that solved it. I just, there's a Mickey Mouse job there. Goes around and that just sucks some of the air from the basement and brings it in. So air is coming in on this side of the blower and this side of the blower and this error code never went off again. So this furnace all the other things it said to check were, were uh, bogus. I didn't need to worry about those. It was just not getting enough air at all. Even with this door totally open and the filter out, it was not getting enough air to cool the blades in there and the little uh, limit switch there was tripped. So if you have this furnace and you got a similar problem with this air coat all the time, you might want to install cut open I just used a jigsaw with a metal blade and cut open a rectangle, put on another vent, and it's worked perfect ever since. So I hope that helped. Thank you for watching, and if this has helped you, please click like and uh, add some comments on the problems you're having, too. Thanks. Have a good day.